Great, so welcome back. So in this kind of short video, we're going to talk about two income statement ratios. And the first is gross margin, which is where you take the gross margin and you divide it by the sales. Okay? And this measures profitability at the gross margin level. Let me give an example. Let's say that I have a gross margin ratio of 50%. That means for every dollar of sales, the firm produces a 50 cent margin, gross margin. Okay, it's a gross margin. Now, let's look at net margin. Net margin takes the net profit before tax and then divides that by sales. Let me give an example because that measures profitability at the net profit level. Let's say that I have a net margin ratio. So gross margin is how much you've made net margin before tax, you've paid your employees, all that good stuff. Let's say instead of what I say in the last one, 50%, uh, let's say my example is like 3% because I've, I've had to pay everybody and all that good stuff. So let's say my net margin ratio is 3%. That tells you that for every $1 that I sell, I produce 3% of net margin, which in a lot of industries, that is not that abnormal. Great. So we've just talked about some income statement ratios. In our next video, we're going to talk about overall efficiency ratios. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment down below, or subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.